welcome this is the energy vibration reading for um, the Aries it's your week you Aries um, happy birthday to the Aries who are having birthday in this week okay this is the energy for week 13 week 13 one plus um, three is the angel um, the angel messages that is going to come in for you um, Aries okay so your guides and your angels your intuition is going to be on eye in this week okay um, this week is um, the week of the lovers and um, the energy of uh, the zodiac energy of fire so it's going to be um, a very good for you Aries for because of the zodiac energies okay let's see what is coming out the week begins from the 26th until the 1st of April so on Monday you have the Queen of Swords, okay? Whoever this person is, the energy is not coming in um, good with her because um, this is someone who is a, um, a very um, psychic delusional, okay? Um, the last time with the energies, and so you have to understand with these people, these air people, and you're a fire person, that these air people are weird. Um, they go like the wind and they can be very destructive so be careful of who this person is then when we look on Tuesday um, we have the energy of uh, the it's look like the nine of wands um, and you, you are protected against this person yes I was right it's the nine of wands and you're protected against this person okay you have to be aware that there are some people that you don't and you can't carry the, and the same energy vibration with them because um, fire and hair it's like a wildfire okay so be careful um, with this person um, then on Wednesday we have the energy of the Sun thank God whatever was happening um, they're coming healing energies wonderful positive energies wonderful healing energies that is coming from the situation that you have been having with this person okay this person is someone who's very delusional just like um, how the card is love the Sun coming up for you guys so it's going to be a powerful day Wednesday is going to be a good day for you Aries as we look forward we are seeing the ace of cups so new love is coming in this is going to be wonderful it's a week of love um, this is going to be so positive for a lot of people especially when the energy of the ace of cups is coming in a lot of people you know it's as if um, the positive light is coming out on you okay so if you have been going through a times where you have been having um, trials and tribulation with people and that sort of a thing now um, the positive light is coming out on you and it's gonna be good okay it's gonna be extremely positive let's look and see what is coming out on Friday you have the energy of the star oh my god this is your week you Aries I hope and um, please um, um, share this video because this is a wonderful videos for you Aries especially the Aries who are having birthdays in this week it's gonna be positive so you have you're starting your year out and for the rest of the Aries it's gonna be wonderful you have the energy of the ace of cup ace of cups and um, the energy of the star Prince of um, the Princess of Pentacles comes in, so some of you will be having a situation with a Princess of Pentacles. Um, whatever the situation is, is that um, whatever dysfunctional uh, relationship you have, it's going to be um, coming out very positive in this week. Okay, so let's say um, then you have the Six of Pentacles. You have help is going to come in. Um, okay. I don't know what's happening with you Aries but you seems to be having a situation with the air people this is what I'm saying to you be aware and um, be alert about these air people because these air people or the Aquarians the Gemini and the Libra they always carry the energy of the sword which is hair they go as the wind be careful what is happening you're a fire sign okay so let's dive in your reading and see what is happening um, it's um it's a week it's a positive week it's a week of love um, a lot of soulmate twin flame relationships are going to be coming in a lot of soulmate and twin flame relationship new love is coming in whenever the energy of the Sun 
and the ace of cup comes up is that um, a positive love interest is going to come in um, I love the energy of the Sun and um, because the energy of the Sun bring vitality in your life so let's say that you have been um, in and out of a relationship and you have no idea where this relationship is going you're going to see um, positive things happening for you in this relationship okay um, the energy of the Sun is always um, good so for the people who have been having marriage problem if you have been having commitment problems some people are going to decide to commit in this week let's say that you have been seeing someone for a while and the person had been you know saying you know why don't we take it a, a step further um, it's a positive week um, um, most of you are going to be connecting if you do not have a relationship a relationship is going to be coming in for you and this relationship is going to be extremely positive there's a lot of help that is going to be coming into you I'm seeing here the princess of Pentacles this is someone who um, could be between the ages of 18 and um, 20 18 and 30 35 or if you're an older person this could be someone who is much younger than you are whatever the relationship and the situation was um, um, is, is, is there's an healing coming for this situation okay there's an healing coming for this situation have no worry um, whatever that has transpired the only thing that I'm not liking um, in the beginning of the week which I'm going to look at and you know whatever you are going through um, with um, this Queen of Sword, the Queen of Sword is someone who is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a um, or a Libra, and whatever is happening with the Queen of Swords, whatever it is, it's going to be um, okay. Yeah, um, whoever the Queen of Swords is and whatever she was trying to do, it's going to be okay. Hold on a minute. Hey Google, pause. Sorry. <laughs> um. <laughs> Sorry, Google was going on. I have the television going on too. So, all right. So, whoever that um, out there that was having a situation, and this could be a situation with a sister. I'm feeling as if this was your sister, or um, this is a friend, or someone, someone at your work. Whoever this person is, and it could be a, a daughter-in-law of or, or someone. But, but whoever this person is. No, don't worry what hap what what is happening because she, the, this person is really sick. The, this person is out of their mind. Okay, this person is on the border of. Um, there is there is a thin line between thin and madness, and this person is on a bordered line. Okay, so not to worry because you're spiritually and divinely protected. And um, whatever this person is trying to do, because I'm seeing that this person is working with negative energies, okay? So you have to be um, careful. I mean, I always tell people, don't even bother to try your bullshit because you'll be wasting your money, okay? And we're, we're, we're um, in a time now that people are trying everything um, to get on top and whatever they're doing. Um, and what I'm seeing here is this this person is very destructive and whenever people are so destructive they're going to destruct themselves okay because whatever you give out is whatever you is what you receive back so whoever the queen of sword is and whoever this person is this person is an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra and very destructive and she is going to destruct herself okay I don't even have to ask because I know what card is going to come up for this person. But anyway, you are spiritually and divinely protected, so you have nothing to worry about. I don't even want to ask about her because I can see the energy around her. Let's not go on her. All I'm saying to you guys, um, and I'm seeing that it's going to affect men and women. This person is a very, very destructive person, whatever they're doing. Has now come to an end okay they can't hurt you okay and this is what people should understand with everything in life they're positive and negative they're positive and negative energy they're positive and negative energies of people um, your emotion everything is positive and negative I have a positive side and I also have a negative side every one of us have 
positive and negative sides we have the ego that works with us and this person is just working with this the the um the the, the underworld and um whatever she's doing she's very being very destructive okay um, as we look at the middle of the week, the middle of the week is, is um, very good because the middle of the week is very um, is a time of protection. The middle of the week is a lot of protection. And uh, the energy of the sun comes out because um, it's given you full and, uh, you know, it's as if whenever you realize that you have this sort of a people because then you're going to feel depressed down, your energy's out and that sort of a thing. Once you feel depressed down and your energy out, Call up an Archangel Gabriel, Supervisor of Tone, Element Master of the Fire, Fire Salamander, and the Fire Dragons to come and clear the energies around you and with you and in you and to protect you and call upon um, divine intervention um, and Archangel Michael and Master Elmor to place the blue ray of protection around you and to flow in your seal. And you constantly need to do this like every 12 hours, okay? The energy of the sun is going to come out in the week. If you have been having a problem with your daughter, and your daughter is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You need to understand that this is a karmatic situation and you need to heal the situation. Um, there is a connection and there is comfort and there is, you know, a sense of uh, um, um, things are going to be um, um, vibrating in, you know, a positive. Um, all you have to do is call upon the angels and guides and the Lord of Karma to come in and heal the situation because some of you can be dealing that you have a kid that is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, and this is what is happening. Um, whatever the situation is, I'm seeing that this person is um, going to come in and help you out. Okay, then we have the energy of the sun, and new love is coming up for you guys. I mean, this is going to be a powerful love, this is going to be. Um, true love this is going to be something that is going to bring you to a place where understanding the love and the co the, the connection that you have is just going to be um, very beautiful okay um, and, and whatever is, is, is happening the Sun is coming out it's as if um, things has been happening to you and now all of a sudden there's a healing that is coming in it's, it's, it's as if this week with the energy of the lovers it's as if your guides and angels are coming in to bring you new love in your life this is going to be a powerful love and this person is going to help you um, to move you forward and it's going to be good the energy of the star is coming out beside the energy of the queen beside the energy of the um um uh the energy of um this princess of pentacles which is a, a taurus virgo or a capricorn whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring between you two it's going to be good because she is going to like open up new doors of opportunities for you and make things happen for you in your life and this is going to be good okay I have here the energy of the Ten of Pentacles that is going to come up. Whoever this um, this person is, um, they're going to be helping you with your financial situation. But yet still, um, for you guys, money is not going to be a problem in this week. There is going to be, if there is nothing about work, there's it's all about you connecting. Um Money is not going to be a problem. If money is a problem, you just need to call upon the universal angels and ask them to heal um, the flow of your financial wealth or heal the flow of your money. Okay, it's you know it's something that is um, going to happen. But um, not to worry about this woman, whoever she was. Um, I'm getting a, such a nasty um, feeling from this woman. Um, New love. Let's see the sun with new love, and I'm, I'm I'm telling you guys this, and and this is something. Whoever is as if I'm, you know, receiving the the, the energy is that there are some people out there who are looking for new love in their life, and um, <laughs> this person is is there. This person. I think some of you have met this person, and some of you are about to meet this person, but. 
this love is going to be so powerful. It's as if there's a light's been shining on this person. It's as if this person is going through an healing, a healing, a powerful healing that is just going to be so positive. Whoever this person is, it's this person is someone who um, you have chosen to um, be, you know, invite in your life. And um, this love is going to be um, something of out the ordinary, okay? And they're going to come in and help you, okay, with whatever is going on. They're going to come in and help you. So some of you could be connecting with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This love is going to be a love that is going to last a lifetime, really a lifetime. It's like you and this person that you're going to be old together. Um, it's going to be good. So let's see. Um, yeah, it's, and, and money is going to come in. I don't know what's happening. Money seems to be coming in for like a lot of people in this week. The Ace of Pentacles and the Magician. Whoever um, this person is, this true love that is coming in, because it's true love, whenever the energy of the sun comes up right beside um, the Ace of Cup, that means this person who's coming in, the love is real, the love is powerful, the love is what you have been waiting for. It's as if the universe have orchestrated this for you and um, this person is going to um, really open up their hearts and you are going to open up your hearts. Um, so it's, it, it's going to be wild, but it's going to be powerful. It's going to be good. And it's going to be a time when it's as if the whole world is going to open up for you in this week. So, you know, and this is why I do the energy vibration reading because there is so many powerful energies. You have the energy of the sun and the star in one week. Wednesday is going to play a significant role. The beginning of the week, whatever is going on between you and an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a, or, or a, um, a, a Libran, uh, this woman is sick. It's, is, is really sick. This woman is, is a psychic imbalance and not to worry about what is happening because with the energy of the star coming out there, you know, it doesn't really matter what he or she is trying to do. Um, it's going to be okay. And you are the star in this week because whatever is transpiring, you're trying to work around this and it's going to be happening for you. I love this card that is coming up. It's one of my most favorite cards out of this deck. It is the crown chakra. Call up an Archangel Metatron um, to touch, open and activate all of your 12 chakras. And he is the master of the crown chakras. Call in the Seraphini angels and Archangel um, um, Serasmus Bay with the ascension flame. As you look and see how enlightened her crown chakra is, and this is what I was saying to people, that sometimes you're going to feel a little tingling um, in here, not to worry about it, but it's okay. I know I am part of source. My life is guided by divine wisdom. And I always, I always say that um, um, because I know and, you know, people need to understand this and say it also. You know, I know, because you know, you're telling your mighty I am present. That you know that you are part of source and your life is guided by divine wisdom. And trust me, I'm living this in this moment for the last year or so. And it's it will transform your life. Okay? So... I want to say not to worry your money will be okay whoever this king of swords is you know just don't worry about him because you are going to be dealing with these swords people in this week have a wonderful birthday you birthday people because your birthday reading is there and i'll speak to you next week bye